Hey guys, Counter Coalition here. This is my first Forza Horizon video, so go ahead and give that video a like. So today we're going to be doing a challenge video. Uh, mainly the challenge is to go do 200 miles an hour for the cheapest possible. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in rear wheel drive, because I feel like that's the only one that's going to be able to do it for cheap. Get a real cheap rear wheel drive car. Alright. That ain't gonna do it. And I'm gonna try and, if I can, try not to do an engine swap build. I don't wanna do an engine swap. How much power does this have? 342? This might be doing it. This might do it. Buy this, do turbo upgrade. And of course, you can't use free or cheap cars. Because, you know, there's, like, for instance, the Crown Vic says it's 1500 and that would just be unfair because you can easily put $30,000 into it and make it a monster. I think was fully upgrading it. <sighs> Wait, where's Chevy? Nah, 170 horsepower ain't gonna do shit. 245, 345, or I can go with the BMW, which is 342, 301. I think this is the best bet. We're going to go ahead and go with the BMW and try to uh, go to 200 miles an hour for the cheapest possible. Now, guys, <clears throat> if I do hit this 200 mile per hour mark, I'm going to want you guys to subscribe, like it, comment, because, you know, first video, challenge, makes the challenge. I think it's uh, definitely a like worthy. All right, so 200 miles an hour, cheap as possible. I'm gonna focus mainly on power because you're not gonna need anything else to hit that top speed. You don't need weight reduction, um, you know, stuff like that. It's not really gonna help that much. I think in this point, it just needs straight power. So this is gonna be my first try attempt on getting 200 miles per hour as cheap as possible. I'd like to keep it under $40,000. 200 miles per hour. So go ahead, go straight to conversion. I don't think I'm doing an engine swap, just looking at my options now. Now, nah, because these these would easily bring me to 200 miles per hour, like that one, 209. I could literally just slap this in, that's $45,000. We're going to try and do it in a different way. 1600. Oh my god. And it's almost there. Can I do this for thirty thousand dollars? Let's see if I can hit. Let's see what if I spend five thousand dollars or less. In actually, I'm gonna go straight to camps because I know that's gonna give me more than likely the best power ratio per price. Oh my god, guys! We already have hit the two hundred mile per hour mark. Let's see if I bring it to. This right here, the 206.9 stock trans. Let's see if I can hit it with just these two upgrades. That's $29,320. Now, again, if I beat this, guys, you know, I do want to like, subscribe, comment. On top of that, I'd love it if you guys could record some gameplay. Uh, right now, I'm using the Xbox Dashboard app for Windows. It's the best method I've found so far to record this game. Uh, Shadow Play and stuff like that don't tend to really catch this game because I think it's it's technically a windowed full screen. It's not a uh, like an exact full screen game. So if you guys could go ahead and record yourselves, you know, I'd love to see if you guys can beat this. You, I mean, obviously the rules are as follows. You gotta, uh, you know, you gotta obviously, you know, not spend more money than me. And you can't use the auction house, because honestly, I could use the auction house, buy this car for probably $14,000, put the upgrades in it, and spend $20,000 to get, you know, a 200 mile per hour car. Alright, so, let's go ahead and give this thing a little listen. First off, let me set it to manual, because, you know, unfortunately my girlfriend changes it up. No traction control, no stability control, manual or clutch, eh. I'll do manual for this. That way I don't lose any speed shifting because I have I'm gonna try and do this airport run. Alright, so we're not gonna go ahead and spin on the beginning. Right, 
see if we can hit this 200 mile per hour mark on the airport. Now, of course, you guys can use different roads if you need to to hit the 200 mile per hour. I just wanted to do it on the airport. If I can't hit it on the airport, I'm going to try it on the highway. And it doesn't look like the airport's going to be possible. But, I did hit 175 on the drag strip, or the airport drag strip, or whatever I believe the highway is, yeah, it's over here. Drift life. This car's actually quite fun. This is actually uh, the second BMW I've bought in this game. And the reason why I didn't like the first one is because some of the reason the dash was having issues. It was like really, really white. It looked like creamy. It was weird. It was like a graphics ledger. Drift life. No, no, fuck this. This is Forza Horizon 3. I don't have to follow the road to kill on the highway. Alright, now the question is, is this where it starts? Or is this where... Okay, this is just a random spot. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to the end of the highway. And uh, when we get to the end of the highway, we'll do a UA real quick. And uh, we'll take the whole length of the highway to try and get to 200 miles per hour today. I don't know how much I gotta stress this, guys. If I hit this 200 mile per hour mark, what? What was that? 20 fucking 29,320 credits? That's cheap. That's dirt cheap. That's literally do like one lap of the Goliath race, and that's basically 29,000 credits, and you have enough money for a 200 mile per hour car. But seeing as though you are driving the Goliath race, you already have that. So do like one of the beginning races, 10 laps or so, you'll have $29,000 right off the bat. You'll have a 200 mile per hour plus car. Bye.